There are over 30 harmful substances in cigarette smoke, including alkaloids, arsenic, nicotine, aldehydes, and others. Many of these are deadly poisons, of special significance is benzopyrenes, formed by a benzene ring fused to pyrene, which is one of the known cancer-producing agents. As the tobacco burns, it reaches temperatures as high as 1,600 degrees Fahrenheit. And this process causes physical and chemical changes and then nicotine, tars, and other substances. Most of these products are gaseous at high temperatures and they become part of the smoke that is carried into the respiratory passages that have starved to the mucous membrane and the tissue. Foremost among these substances is carbon monoxide, which is the killer, an automobile exhaust. In order to illustrate the harmful effects of even small amounts of carbon monoxide upon the body, let's take a look at the breathing cycle. When you breathe clean air, oxygen enters the lungs ere it finds its way to the red corpuscle of the bloodstream. The heart then pumps the blood to the body cells, which in turn, utilize the oxygen. As you smoke carbon monoxide the poisonous gas we have mentioned, is attracted to the red blood cells just as the oxygen, only more strongly. These carbon monoxide molecules take over some of the red blood corpuscle, decreasing the capacity of the blood to carry oxygen to the tissue. In other words, they prevent the oxygen from reaching the red blood cells, thereby reducing the oxygen transportation by 5 to 15 percent. This is one of the reasons why the smoker cannot run as fast or as far as he could, if he didn't smoke. Another bad actor in cigarettes is nicotine. Nicotine is an alkaloid and works upon the nerve centers of the brain that regulates the heartbeat and breathing. In addition, nicotine causes the small blood vessels to get smaller or constrict. There is substantial evidence that continuous smoking causes the small blood vessels to lose their elasticity. And this increases the possibility of heart trouble and blood vessel diseases. There are heavy smokers who smoke the equivalent of a cigarette over six feet long every day, or one about the length of a coffin. Right along the real threats in smoking are the killers known as the carcinogen. The cancer-producing agents found in the tars, condensed out of the tobacco smoke and deposited into the bronchial tubes, leading to the lungs. And where the person's constant smoking day after day, the carcinogens build up a mighty force. From the bronchial tube, the carcinogens move into air tubes of the lungs, where they begin to antagonize, systematically, the cells of the air tube. It is not known why the cells change and become abnormal, but they begin to grow and affect those cells around them until the victim finds himself hopelessly up, like with lung cancer. A non-smoker has about one chance in 270 of developing this disease, while a man who continues to smoke two packs a day has only about one chance in 10. At 95% of those, like will eventually die from cancer. <laughs>